Alrighty, so today we are doing a little off-grid system in a storage shed. Five panels on the roof. And we're gonna do an Outback Flex Power 1 over here on the wall. A couple of kilovolt batteries. So with the Flex Power 1, you just gotta put this one bracket on the wall here. And uh, then it just plops right on. Help me, Jody, or are you just gonna stay yes, there? Yes, <laughs> No, you get the heavy side now. <laughs> just right there. That's it. Boom. There. There it is. These things are really cool. It's basically as close to an all-in-one as you get with an Outback right now. Um, except for the new one, the Mojave. So, this is the AC load center here. Inputs, outputs, disconnect, everything, bypass. DC, this is for the battery. GFI breaker, charge controller disconnect, PV array disconnect. Um, it's got a Mate 3S built in, a hub. A FlexNet DC for with a shunt for measuring uh, battery capacity, FM80 charge controller, and then it's got some extra spots here as well for other things. So, so this is the first off-grid system I've done with Tygo Rapid Shutdown. There's nothing in here right now, but uh, this is going to be the uh, DC combiner. So we got five panels on the roof, all coming into breakers. Um, and then the output's gonna come down into the Tygo Rapid Shutdown box. Um, and there's TS4AFs on the roof on each panel. Um, there's a core that goes around it. I'll show you in a little while here. Um, and then this is gonna get AC power from the load center up here. So when the AC power goes away, that'll shut off. I have a disconnect uh, right through there outside. Um, that'll shut off all AC power and it will also shut down the solar from the roof. Alrighty, so we've got the DC combiner all wired up here. Um, we've got five panels on this roof and we are doing five strings, one string for each panel. Um, these are LG 440s. Uh, so they're, I don't know, 45 or 50 volts open circuit. Um, and this is a 24 volt system, so that works out pretty well. So I'm just gonna get this all closed up. Alrighty, so here are the batteries. Um, we got the Kilovolt 3600 HLX Plus. Um, and these have built-in heaters in them. Um, these are 3.6 kW a piece, 12 volt, connected in series. Um, and then we're coming up into, into the inverter. Um, these are battery cables I had laying around. They're 4 aught. I could have probably used 2 aught, but there it is. So we're going to get this closed up. They're going to open this up in the summer, um, but keep it closed in the winter. All right, well, we're calling it quits for the day here. I still need to get power into the Tygo box here, but uh, everything's working. Some lights on in here. One of them's a different color. It's got a switch though. And there it is. So these Flex Power ones are a really good way to uh, get power quickly. Um, they're all pre-wired, everything's there. So up on the roof we got five LG 440 panels for 2200 watts total. Um, and we're using the Tygo Rapid Shutdown TS4AF on them. Uh, this is a permitted job, so we gotta make sure we follow all of the codes. Part of this install was wiring uh, this greenhouse for lights and outlets as well. Um, so there's the off-grid system and there is the storage shed full of lights as well. Thanks for watching.